The SNP say refocusing their campaign is paying dividends and Labour have given more details on what they say will be the cost of independence. For Donald Dewar, a photo call on Carlton Hill this morning. In a fortnight's time, he'll know whether or not he'll be Scotland's first minister. In the meantime, there's much campaigning to be done. Labour announced more money to insulate homes in Scotland and repeated their attack that an independent Scotland would hit those claiming state benefits. This would mean that by 2001-2, the National Insurance Fund and an independent Scotland would be in deficit to the tune of £200 million. A £200 million deficit in the National Insurance Fund would mean that the SNP couldn't pay, for example, for the full basic pension from the National Insurance Fund without a rise in national insurance contributions. As in the referendum vote, the SNP hope the presence of Sean Connery will help boost their support. The veteran actor will be joining them on the hustings amid claims that their campaign is faltering. Sean Connery is back to the SNP for a long time. He contributes a great deal to Scotland and I think everybody in Scotland cherishes uh, the, the role and the contribution he, he plays in Scotland. You don't think so? No, I think so. Too young to vote, but not too young to enter into a political argument. The Tories have concentrated their fire on education and what they say are Labour's plans to raise taxes. There's no evidence they have any plans to stop increasing taxes. Judging by the budgets which Gordon Brown has introduced, and it's against that background that you have to look at pledges that they have made uh, here in Scotland. The Liberal Democrats have joined the call for the Scottish Parliament to abolish student tuition fees. It so happens this is about the one issue where the three parties yeah. ourselves are agreed mm. on it. And if Labour doesn't get a majority, it doesn't matter who forms the government, tuition fees will go. And that's how the PR system is meant to work. All the parties agree there's much hard campaigning and many issues to be debated before we will know who will occupy these seats in the new Scottish Parliament. David Porter, reporting Scotland, Glasgow. Claims that the former Royal Yacht Britannia is...